From Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories from Monday, October 22nd, a drought declaration for Delaware. The Chrysler deal could be falling apart, and Governor Minner is on a trade mission. Here are the details. Governor Minner has declared a drought watch for the entire state, calling for voluntary water conservation. Reserve water supplies in northern Newcastle County are adequate, but officials say the state can't be complacent. The rainfall deficit is six inches in Wilmington, more than nine inches in Dover, and more than 10 inches in Georgetown. Meanwhile, the U.S. Agriculture Department has granted a drought disaster declaration for Delaware due to crop losses, declining stream flows, and extremely dry soil, especially in Kent and Sussex counties. The fate of a tentative labor agreement at Chrysler remains uncertain after two large United Auto Workers locals split over the deal. The contract failed in ratification votes over the weekend in Newark, as well as Fenton, Missouri, and Twinsburg, Ohio. 57% of members of UAW Local 7 in Detroit voted against the deal. The workers at a parts plant in DeWitt, New York, voted 88% in favor of the deal. National UAW leaders appear to be concerned about the fate of the agreement. UAW and Chrysler bargainers reached the national agreement October 10th following a six-hour strike. If Chrysler workers vote it down, negotiators must go back to the bargaining table. County police are asking for the public's help in identifying possible suspects in the case of an Edgemore man found dead in a rental car last Monday in Philadelphia. Maurice Goodman's body was found in the trunk of this rented Cadillac. Goodman's murder has been linked to those of Jenea Irvin and Elegant McGriff, whose bodies were found two days earlier in Edgemore. Anyone with information is asked to contact county police or crime stoppers. Coming up, it was car versus train and train one. The DEL News continues in a moment. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. Attorney General Bo Biden has reconfigured his office in an effort to streamline prosecutorial and social services to better protect Delaware's children and families. Biden created what he calls the Family Division, bringing together the units of child support, child protection, domestic violence and child abuse, and juvenile delinquency and truancy. Biden says staff are being cross-trained to provide a full range of legal services to victims, families, and juvenile delinquents. A Newcastle man is out of the hospital after a train hit his car. Police say Daryl Sudler tried to beat the Norfolk Southern train at a road crossing just south of Cheswold Saturday afternoon. Sudler didn't make it. The train hit the car, sending it into a light pole. Sudler was airlifted to Christiana Hospital but released after being treated for his injuries. He turned out to be driving on a suspended license, so he'll face charges for that, in addition to disregarding a railroad crossing signal. Governor Minner is leading a trade mission to Chile. And the delegation is meeting with Chilean government officials, business partners, and the board of directors from the American Chamber of Commerce, Chile. Miner will also be attending a signing agreement ceremony with the University of There and University of Delaware President Patrick Harker. Miner says the trip is especially significant since Wilmington's port is the key U.S. hub for Chilean fruit. She will meet with leadership from Pacific Seaways, a Chilean corporation that provides shipping services for Chilean fruit exporters. Miner arrived in Chile yesterday and returns back to Delaware. On Wednesday, the Eagles see a victory slip away. WDEL Sports and your Delaware Acu with a forecast coming up. I'm Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware every weekday morning, 5:30 till 9 on 11:50 a.m. WDEL. WDEL Sports, Brian Greasy connected with Musi Muhammad on a 15-yard touchdown pass with nine seconds remaining to give the Chicago Bears a 19-16 win over the Eagles. The Bears started on their own three-yard line after Donovan McNabb put the Eagles up 16-12 with a 13-yard touchdown pass to Matt Schobel. The Bears drove the 97 yards in less than two minutes with no timeouts left. For the second straight week, the Eagles offense had to settle for field goals and just one offensive touchdown. The loss drops the birds to 2-4 with a game at Minnesota on Sunday. 
WDDEL Delaware, Accuweather the forecast, sun and clouds, and still unseasonably warm today, high 78. Tonight, increasing clouds, low 57. Tomorrow, cloudy, a few thunderstorms around with a high of 72. We get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 11.50 a.m. And get WDEL news, traffic, and weather text alerts sent to your cell phone. Sign up at WDEL.com. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.